Bangladesh stands at a pivotal moment in its industrial journey, poised to transform its pharmaceutical sector into a global powerhouse, much like it did with ready-made garments decades earlier. The remarkable ascent of the RMG industry, now ranked second only to China, offers a blueprint for success. Today, as Bangladesh's pharmaceutical industry rapidly expands, the question is no longer if it can follow in RMG's footsteps, but how swiftly and strategically it can do so. The current landscape of Bangladesh's pharmaceutical sector is impressive by any standard. As of 2025, domestic manufacturers meet a staggering 98% of the nation's medicine demand, ensuring healthcare security for a population of over 170 million. The country's pharmaceutical exports have reached more than 150 nations worldwide, with export revenues climbing to approximately 113 million US dollars in the 2024-25 fiscal year, a figure that represents a steady 4% year-on-year growth. While this export revenue is still just a fraction compared to the RMG sector, projections are optimistic. Industry analysts expect pharmaceutical exports to surpass $6 billion by 2025, positioning Bangladesh as a regional hub for both generic and specialized formulations. Behind these achievements stand industry leaders such as Square, Beximco, Incepta, Renata, and ACI. Among them, Beximco Pharmaceuticals has taken ambitious steps, securing a nearly 25 million euro loan in July 2024 to expand its production capacity, further signaling the sector's commitment to scaling up and modernizing for global competition. One of the strategic advantages Bangladesh currently enjoys is the World Trade Organization's TRIPS waiver for least developed countries. This waiver, effective until 2032, allows local manufacturers to produce patented medicines without the usual intellectual property constraints, enabling rapid expansion in the generics market and access to vital therapies at prices affordable both domestically and abroad. However, this window of opportunity is finite. Once the waiver ends, Bangladesh will need to align with international patent regulations, which could impact pricing, availability, and overall competitiveness. This looming deadline underscores the urgency for rapid capacity building and global integration. Learning from the RMG sector's meteoric rise, several transferable lessons emerge, each adaptable to the unique challenges and opportunities of pharmaceuticals. The first is the necessity of an export-focused growth strategy. In garments, Bangladesh captured the world's attention by prioritizing international certifications, maintaining high compliance standards, and building robust supply chains. The pharmaceutical sector must follow suit, scaling exports by securing more approvals from regulatory giants like the US FDA and the European Medicines Agency. Currently, only a handful of Bangladeshi firms hold these coveted certifications, but with targeted support and investment, this number can and must grow. While low-cost labor powered the RMG sector, pharmaceuticals demand a more skilled workforce the industry's future hinges on nurturing pharmacists, chemists, biotechnologists, and quality control analysts, as well as investing in automation and advanced manufacturing. Vocational training centers and partnerships with global pharma universities will be crucial in cultivating a talent pool capable of driving innovation, maintaining stringent quality standards, and navigating complex regulatory environments. Policy support has always been a cornerstone of industrial growth in Bangladesh. The government's proactive approach in establishing the Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients, API. Industrial Park in Gazaria, Munchiganj, is a testament to this. By encouraging domestic API production, Bangladesh is taking concrete steps to reduce dependency on imported raw materials, a vulnerability highlighted by recent global supply chain disruptions. As of now, the country meets only a small fraction of its API needs domestically. The ambition is to elevate self-sufficiency to 60 to 80 percent by 2030. Tax breaks, subsidies, and robust export incentives, mirroring those that propelled the RMG sector, will be instrumental in achieving this goal. Integration into the global health and pharmaceutical supply chains is another critical strategy. 
the RMG sector's success was built on seamless connections with international buyers, suppliers, and logistics networks. For pharmaceuticals, this means not only exporting finished products, but also participating in global research collaborations, clinical trials, and technology transfers. Establishing public-private research institutes and fostering collaboration with universities and international pharmaceutical firms will drive innovation in high-value segments such as biosimilars, oncology, and orphan drugs. Market diversification also offers immense potential. While traditional export destinations remain important, Bangladesh's pharmaceutical industry should look to underserved markets in Africa, Latin America, and Southeast Asia, regions where demand for affordable, quality medicines is rising sharply. Diplomatic engagement, bilateral trade agreements, and partnerships with organizations like the Islamic Development Bank can open new avenues for market entry and growth. Branding and global promotion are not to be overlooked. The Made in Bangladesh label has become synonymous with quality and value in the garment sector, and similar efforts can elevate the country's pharmaceutical reputation. Participation in global pharma expos, trade fairs, and digital health platforms will showcase Bangladesh's capabilities to international buyers and regulators. A coordinated branding campaign, backed by government and industry, can cement Bangladesh's status as a trusted source of life-saving medicines. None of this progress will be possible without robust regulatory reform. Strengthening the Directorate General of Drug Administration, DGDA, is paramount. Enhanced regulatory oversight, faster approval processes, and alignment with international best practices will inspire confidence among global buyers and investors. The Health Sector Reform Commission's recent recommendation to form a task force for implementing such reforms is a step in the right direction, ensuring that the industry remains both compliant and competitive. The impact of these strategies, if executed with urgency and precision, will be transformative. By 2030, Bangladesh can realistically aim for pharmaceutical export revenues in the range of three to $5 billion, more than tenfold the current figure. API self-sufficiency could rise from today's modest levels to between 60 and 80 percent, insulating the sector from external shocks and improving cost competitiveness. The number of companies with FDA and EMA approvals could increase from fewer than 10 to more than 30, opening doors to the world's most lucrative markets. The skilled workforce, currently estimated at around 30,000, could triple or even quadruple creating high-value jobs and spurring innovation. Importantly, the pharmaceutical sector offers advantages that even the RMG industry cannot match. Pharmaceuticals deliver far higher value per unit, offering superior margins and profitability. The global demand for medicines continues to surge, driven by aging populations, the rise of chronic diseases, and the ever-present threat of pandemics. Innovation and intellectual property, once the exclusive domain of Western firms, are now within reach thanks to Bangladesh's growing research and development capabilities. Success in biosimilars, complex generics, and biotechnology can yield sustainable, long-term growth and establish Bangladesh as a leader in the global knowledge economy. Still, challenges persist. The expiration of the TRIPS waiver in 2032 will require a seismic shift in the industry's operations and strategies. Companies must invest in R&D, not just to copy, but to create, not merely to manufacture, but to innovate. The transition to a post-LDC era will demand resilience, adaptability, and a relentless commitment to quality and compliance. Yet, the foundations are strong. Bangladesh has proven, through its RMG miracle, that it can compete and win on the world stage. The pharmaceutical sector is already demonstrating similar promise. With a clear vision, targeted investments, and unwavering policy support, the country can seize this unique window of opportunity by adapting the export-driven, policy-supported, and skill-focused model that made RMG a global juggernaut and tailoring it to the highly regulated, innovation-intensive world of pharmaceuticals Bangladesh is poised to write its next industrial success story. The coming years will test the nation's resolve and ingenuity, 
but the rewards for both the economy and public health will be profound. Time is of the essence. The next decade offers a rare chance for Bangladesh to leapfrog into the ranks of the world's leading pharmaceutical exporters. By moving fast, thinking big, and acting smart, Bangladesh can ensure that its medicines reach every corner of the globe, delivering not just economic growth, but hope and healing to millions. The future of Bangladesh's pharmaceutical industry is bright, and the world is watching.